You're like, if you have your own shoe. Yeah. And two, I'm wearing my um, Jordans more because I saw that. And, th and th people have like thousands of shoes that they never even open. So that's why. So you um, feel you can't be a sneakerhead because you wear your sneakers? Well, I'm saying I feel like I couldn't be a sneakerhead because it, it just does something to me seeing all those cool shoes never being worn. Because I think, I think shoes are at their coolest when you see them on someone's feet. I, I agree. I think you should use shoes and not just uh, put them in a museum. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, so that's why I'm going to start, that's why I've, like, it, it made me want to wear, it, like, because I have, like, one really nice pair of sneakers, so I'm going to start wearing those around more, because I don't want them to just be, like, in a glass case. Or So if you had a signature sneaker, what would it be like? I, I don't know if, I mean, if I could choose, like, if I, if I was, like, in a room with, like, a design team and I could, like, supervise it, I think there'd be a pretty amazing shoe, but it wouldn't just be one shoe. I would have a lineup of different shoes in different colors. I see. What, uh, what color sets would you have? I think I would have, like, sort of all of them, because sometimes, like... I'm like, I think today it would be red, I think today purple, green, but um, that would be pretty crazy if I had a shoe deal. The closest thing it, I can do is go on like, like a Nike and Adidas on their websites. They have like these um, shoes that you can customize, so that's pretty close. Yeah. And, but the really cool thing is you can put text on it. So if I, so if I could sort of be like, I have my partnership and it's my own shoe. I see. All right. All sounds good. Any, any parting words? Oh, you're filming? <laughs>